Up next, an electrical engineering grad from the University of Alberta in Edmonton. She's part of Alberta SAT, a student group launching three CUBE satellites next January. Please welcome Kelsey Turin. right into it. My name is Kelsey and I'm here from the University of Alberta. Um, I'm part of a student group called AlbertaSat. We build cube satellites. They are satellites about the size of a loaf of bread. And I'm here tonight to share our story of how our passionate and dedicated students managed to ignite a space industry in Western Canada. It all started in 2010 with the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge. This was a new year-long competition where student teams across Canada competed to design a satellite, and the winning team would be given the opportunity to launch theirs into space. Our team didn't end up winning, so our satellite was never made, but this competition is what brought us together. So our next mission was named Exalta 1, or the Experimental Albertan 1, and it was actually the first made in Alberta satellite. Its launch in 2017 put us on the world aerospace stage. Exalta-1 was part of the NanoRacks QB50 mission, a constellation of 28 cube satellites from around the world which came together to study space weather through the observation of plasma flow and, and its interaction with the Earth's magnetosphere and lower ionosphere, which really just means it studied the northern lights. This constellation was supposed to be 50 satellites, but um, it only ended up being 28. And these satellites weren't only being made by student teams. It was incredible that our students actually made an operational satellite. So to launch into orbit, CubeSats are actually carried up to space in a rocket ship. And this was taken of the Atlas V rocket, which carried our satellite up to space. This image was taken by NASA, and we're very grateful for it. Cube satellites, once they're brought up into the International Space Station, they're launched out of NanoRacks CubeSat deployers, which is basically what you're seeing on the screen here. Uh, these deployers have allowed Cube satellites to be pushed out into orbit at scale relatively affordably. Exalta 1 was deployed in May of 2017, and since then our group has grown to over 80 students with over 30 supporting advisors. So here you can see Exalta 1 starting its orbit after being deployed out of the nano racks on the right. This picture, picture was taken by an astronaut on the International Space Station, and again, we're very grateful to NASA and NanoRacks for the image. Exalta-1 orbited the Earth for 18 months. We communicated with it using antennas on the roof of the University of Alberta that you can see here. Eventually, the Earth's gravitational pull brought it back into contact with our atmosphere, so Exalta-1 has burned up. It burned up above Brazil. And our small group of students managed to do what no one in Alberta had ever done before, actually launch a satellite into orbit. Many of our students moved on after the launch of Exalta-1 to found or work at Wyvern, a CubeSat company in Edmonton that's building folding cube satellites to revolutionize imaging of our Earth. Right now, actually three quarters of their employees started with us. So Exalta-1 ended its trailblazing mission and left us with a big question, what's next? With rising global temperatures, the number and intensity of wildfires is growing every year. Alberta in particular has been hit hard by some wildfires, like the 2016 fire in Fort McMurray. As space is one of the best vantage points to observe fires, our next mission emerged. We were gonna launch a satellite to predict, track, and assess the effects of wildfires on our landscapes. Exalta 2, in the front there, will launch this January with two other satellites that we're helping Yukon University and Aurora College develop. It's going to have a camera on it capable of gathering data on the size, growth, and effects of wildfires. Our camera is, of course, being designed in-house by our students. It's a multispectral imager that will look at infrared and near-infrared light to monitor active fires, discover forest type and density, and monitor regrowth after a burn. This part, as well as everything else in our satellite, is built in a clean room. That's a positive pressure room where uh, filtered air is pumped in constantly so that there's no dust because even a tiny amount of dust in a satellite can actually break it and we can't fix it after it's launched. So because it has to be done perfectly here on Earth, our students have to suit up in special suits that we call bunny suits to work in this clean room. They aren't allowed to wear shoes, they have to wear hair nets and gloves and static wristbands. Um, and many of our students have been working tirelessly all summer in this underground lab getting Exalta 2 ready for launch. 
But even in these bunny suits, we're all still just amateurs. When we were building Exalta 1, our lead system engineer actually dropped a screw into the final model and had to lift it up and shake the screw out really carefully before we send it into orbit. Before a satellite is assembled, it's laid out like this so we can test all the parts and integrate them together easily. This is called a flat sat. But just building a satellite isn't enough to us. We want to break down barriers and make space accessible to everyone. All of our designs are open source because we believe that creating a shared, extensive data bank of knowledge that can be accessed anywhere leads to more people making cheaper, more innovative designs. When we started Exalta One, we crafted a dream. A dream of providing an aerospace education to Albertans along with a commercial space in industry supporting the continued development of our economy. We believe strongly that space science should be accessible to everyone, and so we've developed our educational outreach program in tandem to our satellites. We teach children from kindergarten to grade 12 anything from satellite design to electronics prototyping to coding to optics and you name it. Since 2014, we've spoken to over 5,000 kids across Alberta and Northern Canada. Our lessons bring our cutting, ed cutting edge technology into classrooms and show students that careers in aerospace are absolutely within their reach right here at home. Just this year, we've gone into over 70 classrooms and collaborated with space and science groups all over Alberta. We're always looking for new ways to teach, share, and inspire our next generation of young makers. So our students in Alberta Sat have accomplished the incredible. We brought Alberta to space. We developed the space industry in Western Canada. We share our designs openly, and we've mentored and inspired thousands of students to follow in our footsteps. Come find us this weekend at Beakerhead. We'll have some of our technical team members here to share our passion for space with you, answer your burning questions, or teach you about satellite design. Thanks for listening. I'm so proud of the team, and I'm so happy I could be here to share this with you.